and Hamashiach shall rise first. So we'll be caught up in the chariots to watch the destruction of two-thirds of our people. Lord willing, if we're of that number. And you goddamn Edens, which will get fucked up in the American Babylon Great. This land is finished. Done. You're done. First Thessalonians 4 and 17 that we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. This is talking about the elect, those who follow the Lamb wherever you go. These are those that came back to their nationality, who are keeping the commandments, keeping the faith in Yahweh Shammashiach, who are seeking the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible. These are the ones that are seeking the Most High God while He still may be found. First Thessalonians 4 and 17, that we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Most High. So this is part of that comfort that we're giving our people. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. This is that comforter that Yahweh Shai Mashiach said he would send unto the remnant of his people in the latter days. Mashiach Mashiach Yahweh Shai. In Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yahweh Shai Mashiach said, I come in the volume of the book. He said the law was in his mind. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. When they, therefore, were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou, at this time, restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Most High God to put in his own power. So it wasn't up to them to know the times or the seasons. But in due time, as spoken of the parable by Yahweh Mashiach, as a treasure hidden in the field, these truth is coming to pass. The light of the which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is being revealed unto his servants of prophets, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Mill Stone. This is the leaven hidden in three measures of meal. So the true understanding was not given unto the apostles and the prophets that came for us. But now it's being revealed in these last days as this man's system is going down. And the kingdom of heaven will be given unto the saints of the Most High God. Thus saith the Holy Bible. John chapter 12, verse 48. Sir John 12 and 48. He that rejected me and received not my words have one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. So we're here to give our judgment unto we are the nations, unto the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of, the children of Esau. You will be cut off and go extinct, burnt up. According to Obadiah 1 and 18, thus saith the Holy Bible. After a thousand years of hardcore slavery, you are the nations are going to captivity. The Most High God will deliver his elect in America, Babylon, great, and throughout the whole earth. So it says, John 12 and 48, He that rejected me and receiving not my words hath one that judgeth him which are the saints of the Most High God in, his, in their due time that, that had to be raised up here in America, Babylon, the Great to show you the judgment written, which are the words of, the, of this book. 
The volume of the book, Thus said the Holy Bible, these same words are judging two-thirds of our people, condemning them to their destiny, to their fate, which is nuclear fire, the lake of fire, America, Babylon, the great being burnt up, and you are the nations. This is why we say this land is finished. ICBM missiles will come upon America, Babylon, the great. Nuclear war is coming, World War III. Thus said the Holy Bible, repent, keep the commandments. Seek, seek the wisdom of this book while you still can. Return to your nationality. Keep the commandments. Watch as well as pray. John 12. Luke 21 and 36. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye be accompted, worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. So you're supposed to watch as well as pray, that ye may be found worthy to see the coming of the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Mashiach, we call Jesus Christ. Raising your hands to the east, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh make a supplication unto the Heavenly Father. Watch as well as pray. Watch these prophecies come to pass. You're supposed to seek the prophecies and understand them as they're coming to pass in these last days. So that you may be found worthy to see the coming of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Like it says in the book of James, faith without works is dead. Says the book of Luke 21 and 26. Men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and 7, speaks of Jacob's trouble. Every man's hand will be in his loins, all faces will be pale. Why? Because you have FEMA camps coming to America, Babylon, Great. You have Coast Guard troops that will cover the streets of America, Babylon, the Great. You have a great insurrection coming city upon city. One house invading against another for the lack of water, for the lack of bread. You have the RFID chip which will be mandated throughout the whole earth. Thus saith the Holy Bible. This is that hour of temptation written up in uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. So it says, Luke 21 and 26, man's hearts filling up for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Because Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who you call Jesus Christ, will return with the Alahayim, which are the angels, which are the chariots of the Most High God, which are the so-called UFOs that you read about throughout the Holy Bible. Luke 21 and 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads, lift up your heads, for your redemption, draw of nine. So we don't glory in all our wisdom. We glory in knowing the counsel of the Heavenly Father. We glory in knowing that salvation is for the elect, for the Israelites, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. We're lifting our head because we know that our redemption draws nigh. And you are the nations are finished. This land is done. You're finished. This land is finished. Thus saith the Holy Bible. So these are the words that we're telling our people, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Your redemption draws nigh. Those that believe in the words of this book, those who repent and come back to their nationality, keep the commandments. 
Watch as well as pray. This is Isaiah chapter 17 and verse 14. Isaiah 17 and 14. And behold, at evening time trouble, and before the morning, morning he is not. This is a portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. You are the nations. You go into captivity. Those that are in this land will get burnt up. Thus saith the Holy Bible. And that morning he is not. Why? Because America Babylon the Great will be thrown down in one hour. By the Most High God, through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, through the angels, Michael the Archangel, and the great multitude of chariots that will cover America Babylon the Great and its skies as they, as they redeem his elect. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 12. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst thrush the heathen in anger. So you heathen are going to be thrushed, cut asunder. By what? By the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Most High God. Will melt you up. The, Uf, the so called uh, UFOs written up throughout the Holy Bible. The ICBM missiles will melt you up. You're finished. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 16. And say, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Revelation 18 and 17. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off. So America Babylon the Great will be thrown down in one hour. Thus saith the Holy Bible. And now we want to Zion, we get to see that day, Lord willing. This is Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. We're not keeping silence in these latter days. Starting with the elders and apostles of Great Mill Stone. Thus saith the Holy Bible. Why? Because we're telling you, your judgment written. We're, we're sentencing you by the words of this book. You are now. In the sense of see, you are now in the sense of see faith, two thirds of our people, and you are the nation. Because these words will come to pass, thus saith the Holy Bible. Isaiah 62 and 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, we're mentioning and professing him freely, thus saith the Holy Bible. Why? Because that is his heritage, the heritage of the saints of the Most High God, to render judgment as it is written via the Holy Scriptures. This is Isaiah 31 and 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. 
they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So scoff all you want, whisper all you want, you're gonna get burnt up right along with your family. You're fucking done. Don't say it the Holy Bible. And you're all a bunch of hypocrites, scoffers. So-called white man's gonna slaughter you, bunch of idiots. Isaiah 41 and 11, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shall not find them. Even them that contend, contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. So the weapons of warfare are not carnal. So we're speaking the words to you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And those that strive against us, we're speaking your judgment. Two-thirds of our people, we're letting you know you will be cut off in America, Babylon, great. We'll see you on the other side. Those that believe in the words of the Holy Bible, the Most High God will deliver his elect. Why? Because that is a judgment written. The Most High will redeem his chosen people. Thus saith the Holy Bible. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 12. So it says, Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contend with thee, and they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and there is a thing of naught. So the Most High God will hold us until the end, Lord willing, we are that number. But until that time, we will continue in the words of the Most High God, Ba'ashim Ma'ashiach Yahushai. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High God, and read, Not one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. So you're supposed to seek out of the words of the Most High God, out of this book, which is the Holy Bible. And none of these things are not written in vain. These things will come to pass. So you're supposed to seek the Most High God while you still can and none shall wander bait. The Holy Bible has nothing to do with the Quran. The Holy Bible is the truth, and is the only truth. Don't say it the Holy Bible. These prophecies will come to pass. Nuclear destruction will come upon America, Babylon the Great. Don't say it the Holy Bible. So it says, this is uh, Isaiah, Chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus said.